I got to 24,000 league points and unlocked the final relic possible in Trailblazer League Reloaded. And then I went to sleep for 5 hours because I would probably die otherwise. Now that I have every single relic and every single area unlocked, it is simply me against the rest of the top competitors for the next 2 months as we try and compete for rank 1. So let's get into it. I'll be choosing Executioner as my 8th and final relic. When my opponents are 20% HP, I can use the Executioner to one hit them. As I'm the mage relic and don't really have any spec weapons, Weapon Master isn't for me, and I don't really plan on dying anywhere either so neither is Undying Retribution. I have Wilderness Bosses and Corp and DKs and Raids 3 to do, and being able to one hit every single boss at 20% health is going to speed things up tremendously. Today's video is once again sponsored by our good friends over at Manscaped, and they're here to wish you a Merry Ballsmas. The holidays are approaching, but what if I told you that the celebrations are starting early this year? And it turns out the perfect gift does exist. Keep calm and let your balls jingle this season with the brand new Manscaped Performance Package 5.0 Ultra, featuring the new Lawnmower 5.0. Watch all your wishes and mistletoe kisses come true, and look nice when you're going naughty by going to manscaped.com and using the code DITTER20 for 20% off, plus free shipping. I've been using Manscaped and the Lawnmower for years, and this Performance Package 5.0 Ultra has it all. Included is the Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra, the Weed Whacker 2.0 Ear and Nose Trimmer, Manscaped's Liquid Formulations, and two free gifts. The Lawnmower and Weed Whacker feature advanced skin safe technology to protect your delicate presence, and they're both waterproof, so there's no issue clearing the snow out of your driveway. The Crop Soother Aftershave Lotion and the Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant will be so nice on your sack that you'll never go back. And the gifts don't stop there. They comes with the premium boxes and the shed travel bag as well. So get 20% off and free shipping with the code DITTER20 at manscaped.com. That's 20% off and free shipping at manscaped.com. And use code DITTER20. As I need to edit yesterday's video, it's time to start AFKing my melees. I'm going to do it at the Elder Chaos Druids because I need some Lanta Dimes for a magic potion task. And if I get the full Elder Chaos Robe set somehow, that's a 200 point task as well. And just getting my melees up is obviously going to get me combat levels and skill levels. As I was AFKing here, this guy with Ruinous Powers and a Slayer Task and a Slayer Helm tried to AFK check me. So we're going to have to come give him a visit. Bye. <laughs> Idiot. Yo, we got the Elder Chaos Hood while AFKing. I don't know if, wait, where is it? I don't know if just an Elder Chaos Hood is a task. I don't think so. I think you need the full set. Yo, that's huge for us. We got the Elder Chaos Robe bottom. If we get, um, what do we, if we get the top, if we get the Elder Chaos Robe top, that's 200 points right there. Okay, I spent the past four hours or so editing my day four video, so I've just been AFK my melees. No real task from it, obviously, but we did get the two Elder Chaos pieces. So when we get the top, that will be 200 points. We got very, very close to completing 100 Brimhaven agility tickets yesterday because we fucked up. So I'm just going to go get a bunch of crafting and fletching supplies and go finish that up. I have almost 500k taco. If this doesn't get me to 99 crafting, I don't know what will. Okay, let's buy some diamonds. Okay, I've got almost 2,000 uncut diamonds. Let's go back to Brimhaven. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, I just got 87 crafting. We're almost done with the tickets here, so I won't be able to get all the way to 90, which kind of sucks because there's an Onyx amulet task. But I'll get around to it at some point. I'm sure I'll be doing something. Yeah, but we will be able to do 100 light orbs or something. Experience, 100 tickets. You've completed an elite task. Trade 100 agility arena tickets for XP, giving me 200 points. Very, very nice. 24, 250. Got me to 94 agility as well. I need 100 molten glass for another task, so here we are again buying some buckets of sand and stuff. And that is blow 100 light orbs for 200 points, 24,450. I haven't defeated the Leviathan yet, and it has an 80 point task just to kill it once. And I haven't used the Executioner yet at all either, so I want to use it just to see how it does. Come on. Ooh, Leviathan down. Sage's axe go hard. Let's go. 3 minutes 13. Could have done it a little bit quicker, but it is what it is. Okay, I'm going to try and get this 90 crafting while doing some hard clues at the same time. Alright, let's get hard cluing. I'm probably going to stack up a couple caskets. I'm not just going to keep open one every time I get it. Okay, I have 7 caskets here, which is a guaranteed reward for 25 clues, but I'm hoping I can gain 50 unique items. Holy shit, I just got a lot of items to the collection log slot. Jesus Christ. We might even be able to go for that. God damn. Gothic's dehyde boots. 
Dude, we're going crazy right now. I'm surely going to gain 50 unique items. Surely, right? Fill 30 hard clue collection log slots. That's 200 points right there. That wasn't even the one I was going for. That's how you know this is cracked out. Gain 50 unique items. Oh my god, we're flying up. We got the arm metal coif too. Oh my days. Gothic Crozier. Jesus Christ, dude. I was not expecting all this. Is that 20? I did 25 hard clues, didn't I? I didn't even get the thing for it. Hard clues completed. Oh, what? It says only 19. Damn. Either way, I just went up all the way to 24... 930. Oh shit, I just got 90 crafting. Why am, why am I still crafting? Let's make this onyx amulet. And that is craft an onyx amulet for 200 points. I'm now on 25,130. And let's enchant this. We now have a fury, which is really, really nice. I am going to go do DKs and I am going to do the 5 and 6 jads later and really use that axe. But I am, what, an hour off of 99 Hunter? So I'm just going to go do that real quick so I can get another 200 points. I'm doing this because I need to get a lucky Empling at some point And the earlier I have 99 Hunter, the better. Yeah, 10k XP per box trap. I'm not even 3 ticking right now and I'm going to be 99 Hunter in no time. I can't even lay all 6 at once. Okay, and there should be 99 Hunter. We'll probably be coming back here at some point for 25 mil Hunter because it is so quick. But that is 200 points right there. 25,330. I think I'm at like rank 13 right now, right behind Pip. But we're going to take over Pip because fuck Pip. All right, we've got a locator orb because I'm about to go do some DKs with some crazy tech, I think. Can I one-hit it yet? Ooh, I can one-hit it. Nice. Ooh, I got a B-ring right away. No way. No way, dude. That's legit crazy. That's crazy. Maybe 14 HP is a little bit monka. Maybe I'll be like 25 HP. B ring right away. That's 80 points right there, getting me to 25, 14. Dead. Okay, the one shot is really, really nice. I can't lie. All right, that should be enough. Dead. Nice. Oh my god, that is so broken. One of the huge things about having the tier 8 relic unlocked is that all PVM is efficient now. At tier 7 and tier 6, I only had a times 4 drop multiplier. But at tier 5, I have a times 5 drop multiplier. The best in the game, obviously. That is so nice to finish it off. Ooh, Dragon Axe. I think that's 80 points. That's so at least 40. Oh, use the Dragon Axe special attack. 80 points. I was so confused. I was like, where's the task, dude? 25, 490. We absolutely take those. We're getting all the combat achievements right now. Seer call as well. I think that's a task. Yup, 80 points. Take that. We're at 25, 25, 650. Okay, and that's the Archer's Ring, which is another 80 points. Don't mind if I do. If I get the Seer's Ring now, that's a 200 point task on top of that. 80 points for equipping an Archer's Ring. Flying up the leaderboards. 25, 730 right now. We're 10 points away from Higer at rank 12, but I haven't relogged. Another DX, bro. Give me the Sears ring. Give me the Sears ring, Mr. Prime. I want that dopamine. <laughs> Another B ring. Mate, we need the Sears ring from this guy. That's what we need. Oh, damn it. I got one of those arches ring. 25 KC. That's three points for a combat achievement. I guess I'm going to get that for all of them in a second, huh? I wish I had that Sears ring, though. 25 KC is the drop rate for the rings. Yep. Dagonaut Serex said that, too. Damn, I'm so good at RuneScape, dude. Farseer Helm. Is that better than the Dagonai Helm? It might. Damn, a Farseer Helm is better. GG. Look at my inventory, dude. Okay, 37 KC. We're going to come back and finish that fifth... Uh, shit, I need to get some food before I die. We're going to come back and finish this 50 KC, but my inventory is getting way too much to handle, and I am just going to end up dying. I also just wanted that boost of points. I wanted to jump up, so I think I'm going to go do the 5 Jads and 6 Jads now, and then log out and take a screenshot. It is what it is, you know? All right, it is five and six jazz time. I'm gonna bring the Executioner Sage's Axe for when they're at 20%. I'm not sure if I'll be able to click it and use it, but if I can, it'll be pretty nice. And the thing about five jads is once you kill two jads, it's just three jads, so it's pretty much simple math. May or may have not tanked like 50,000 hits during that, but hey, we got it done. 200 points done for completing five jazz. Let's do six now.
and that is six jads done. I need a relog. I need to hit a fat relog. Boom. Rank 11 above Pip, Joel Mission, and everyone. If you're enjoying the video so far, remember to subscribe. It's the best thing to support me, and it also means you guys never miss a future upload. And if you want to go that extra step to support me, go to ditterbitter.com and buy my merch. Be a sexy guy like Eviescape and get something for yourself. All right, let's go back to DKs and try and get the Sears ring. DKs take a long time, and with the drop rates being 1 in 25, it's really not worth me staying here past 50kc, as I should get those drops in time. There are points for getting 150kc and 300kc, but I really don't want to go there right now. Another Archer's Ring. And that is defeat each Dagonoth King 50 times. I'm 2x over the drop rate for this Sears Ring, unfortunately. That's 80 points. I'm just waiting on that 280 point stimulus package from the Sears Ring. 26 210 now, though. I'm going to start picking up the Dagonoth Hides because I know I'm going to need them later for some tasks. Another Archer's Ring, bro. I can get four Archer's Rings and four B Rings, but not even one Sears Ring. Are you trolling me? There's a 150 KC toss, but I did not want to go for it. Baby, a triple. Complain enough and you will get the Sears ring. There we go. 72 KC. There is no way I am staying. Wait, why did I not get all of them? What the hell? Let me go to the bank. What the hell? Why did I not just get 200 points? Maybe I haven't equipped the Archer's ring, to be fair. Boom, boom. Huh? What? Equip every... No way, dude. No way. I need the Warrior's Ring. 73 KC, we're gonna look for the Warrior's Ring now. You're trolling me, bro, another B Ring. I just checked my loot tracker, I have three Ring of Lives as well, and Dragon Axe, and they're all the same drop rate as the Warrior's Ring. So I'm just fucked. You're trolling me, I literally just got another one. I just got another one. I've lost the, oh my God, no way, dude. I was literally just gonna record a clip crying. No way, we got it. Warrior's Ring, let's go. Let's fucking go. Let's get the hell out of here, bro. Let's get the fucking hell out of here. Holy shit. 80 points for equipping a warrior's ring. I'm so reclined in my chair. The past hour, two hours since I've realized have not been fun. I'm like rank two in every single Dagonoth right now. Let's go. I need to hit the relog. That gets me up to what? <laughs> I'm, I'm less ranks than I was earlier. I'm literally less rags than I was earlier. I only went up one rag, 26,570, rag 12. But hey, I'll take it. 280 points, 26,570. I was going to do clues, but I remembered I already have the Odium Shard from Scorpia, and I have the Odium Shard from Crazy Archaeologist. So if I do Chaos Fanatic and pull it, it's a 1 in 50 drop rate as well. That's 200 points for the Odium Ward. And then I might go for the Malediction Ward too. I'm going to hop worlds too to make it quicker. Grimy Lantodines, we got them, nice. I legit needed three more to uh, do the toss, so that's nice. A little blessing in disguise. Chaos Fanatic Champion, let's go. Malediction Shard 1. Malediction Shard 1. Let's go, that's huge, that's huge for us. While I'm currently looking for the Odium Shard 1 so that I can make that full ward for 200 points, I also do need to make the Malediction Ward eventually. And Scorpia and Crazy Archaeologist are a lot easier with Mage than Chaos Fanatic. So going back there will be a lot easier than this. But yeah, now we're just hunting for that Odium Shard. No way, bro. This is this is what we don't like to see. Another Malediction Shard. This is not what we like to see. Okay, and I am Shadowband. Third Malediction Shard. This DK is all over again. 100kc. <laughs> I just got 80 range from using the Sage's Axe Executioner thing. Let's go! No way, dude, I got it! Odium Shard 1. That is so huge for me. I'm literally 18k XP off uh, 25 mil mage as well. This couldn't have gone better, bro. This couldn't have gone better. Let's go. That is so huge for me, dude. I literally alt running here so that I could get 50 mil mage XP at the same time I do this. 50 million magic XP putting me up 200 points. Let's make this ward as well. How do we do it? Use Volcanic Forge. Nice. Imagine if I alked one of those pieces. That would not be great. Equip an Odium Ward, 200 points as well. Getting us to 26,970. I'm not done here. There's two more things left for this combo breaker. Okay, 20 Magic Potions gets me over 27,000. 27,050. But I have one more thing for this combo breaker still. Reaching 110 combat would be another 80 points. And 80 prayer was going to get me that. I thought I had enough bones, but unfortunately I was one level off. Let's hit the refresh on the high scores. From rank 14 to rank 9, I'm tied with rank 8. If I got those, if I got to 80 prayer, I would have taken rank 8. 
Okay, and that's Olaf's class down for 40 points. I'm just gonna relog so I can overtake that guy. Every time I relog, someone else is going up points. My goal before sleep was solo missions rank 5, as I thought 27,570 points was pretty obtainable, but rank 4 at 28,260 was not going to happen until tomorrow. My plan now is to go do Scorpia and Crazy Archaeologist, as I can pretty much AFK them while I eat dinner and hunt for those 150 Malediction Shard pieces, as that'll be another 200 points, which will propel me quite a bit. I'm pretty sure I'll be able to fully AFK this guy by literally just keeping my auto on and healing off of him because I kill him so quickly. I'm pretty sure. That's what I'm gonna do because I'm gonna get some food. No way, dude, I got another Odium Shard. No way, dude, within three kills I got it. Malediction Shard 2. No way, dude, 37 KC Odium Shard. The tides are turning, dude, the tides are turning. It's Scorpia time, let's get ready. All right, this is the gear we're rocking for Scorpia. Apparently you can just AFK it with Prey Melee and in full tank gear. All right, just how AFK is this? I'll be back, I got food. Okay, I'm legit AFK as hell eating some lasagna right now, but that's 25 KC, which is an elite combat task for four points. Dude, I'm actually spooned. Malediction Shard 3. I haven't even finished eating my lasagna and I got it. Let me pick up these scrolls. Let's go. Oh my God, we finished it, dude. Our, our, the tides turned, dude. All right, use the malediction. All right, and we have a malediction ward. 200 points, 27,290, dude. That is huge for us. The tides turned. I gotta figure out what I wanna do now, though. I have 10,000 pure essence. Can that get me to 99? That is the question. Damn, I can literally just do this to train it. That's crazy. I think this is the best altar I have for a while. I somehow managed to pause the recording when I actually crafted the black dehyde body, but equipping full black dragon hide was an 80 point hard task, getting me to 27,370. I was gonna go for more tasks to take soul missions rank five at 27,570, but just after hitting a relog after that, more people had jumped up and rank five was over 28,000 points and I just couldn't do that today before sleeping. You gotta remember none of these guys apart from me and soul mission are losing multiple hours every day editing a video. So just to be up there in contention with them right now, I am pretty happy with. Remember to subscribe so you don't miss tomorrow's video where I'll be trying to chase the top five down. And if you want to support me further, go to ditterbitter.com to buy my merch. I really do appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching.